If you're studying med surge in nursing school, please do not make this mistake. I'm gonna tell you the mistake and give you an example because once you stop doing this, you're gonna immediately see an improvement in how well you understand the nursing content. I'm Nicole, professional nursing tutor with over 15 years experience, and I want you to avoid the nursing school horror stories. Here's the mistake I see so many nursing students make. When you study a disease process and you identify the pathophysiology, you tend to mix up what's the actual pathophysiology and what caused the pathophysiology. Let me explain. And then I'm gonna give you a bonus tip I just thought of. Let's take pneumonia. If you Google it, if you look it up in your textbook, pneumonia is at its simplest. It is inflammation of the lungs. That's my bonus tip, by the way. Always put the pathophysiology in your own words like you're talking to a fourth grader. Your future patients will thank you because they don't understand all the medical jargon anyway. And you will thank you because you're gonna understand it better. But even though the pathophysiology of pneumonia is simply it's inflammation of the lungs, there are different things that could cause that inflammation. I break this down as step 2A and 2B in my silver bullet study system, the best way to study in nursing school. Step 2A is going to be what is the simple pathophysiology. Step 2B, what are some things that could have caused that pathophysiology? With pneumonia, you can have a bacterial cause, you can have a viral cause, you can have fungal cause, you can have aspirational where it just goes down the wrong hole and irritates it. Could also choose to break it down as community acquired or hospital acquired. And those causes do matter when you get to step three and four of the silver bullet study system, but not as much as you would think. Because now when you organize your thought process this way, you're gonna save yourself a ton of study time because at the end of the day, it's still inflammation of the lungs, no matter what caused it. It's like having a broken window. Maybe someone threw a rock through it or a soccer ball or a baseball, but at the end of the day, the window's still broken and the weather and the bugs are gonna get in, regardless of what caused the window to break. Are you starting to see how studying this way with the silver bullet study system can really make it easier for you to understand the symptoms and save you time as well? I've got a free 10 minute video about the silver bullet study system that I'd love to send you. Just request it and you can also get a download like this to put in your textbook. Don't forget to follow for more nursing school tips. That actually worked.